Alright, I'm talking about a particular detail of squatting, namely the position of the femurs or the thigh bones. The femur is the longest bone in the body. In a parallel squat position, the femurs cover distance in the sagittal plane. That's front to back distance. Now, getting the thighs to parallel in a squat requires some combination of forward knee movement and backward hip movement. Backward hip movement produces forward torso lean. With the femurs pointed straight forward from the hips, you get too much of one or the other. If you keep your knees back, the hips move back and the torso has to bend over too far. This is not a strong or safe position. If you keep the torso upright, the knees move far forward. Trying to get to parallel like this results in an extreme angle at the ankle and knee and the structures in the front of the hip getting kind of crunched together. This is a weak, awkward position and it's also very quad dominant. There really is no effective way to squat with the femurs going straight forward from the hips. They cover too much distance. You have to reduce that distance by angling the femurs out. Push the knees out wide. Powerlifters do this with a wide stance and push the hips back. Olympic lifters keep the narrow stance and let the knees push out over the toes. Both styles work because the femurs are angled out wide. That's the key. Now there's not one particular angle that everyone needs to get their femurs to. It varies with different body proportions. So what you need to do is figure out how wide you need to get your thighs in order to squat with heavy weight down to parallel with your back at a 45 degree angle or higher comfortably. And I seriously mean comfortably. Angling your femurs out makes squatting so much easier. Now getting into this proper position at the bottom of the squat requires hip, knee, and ankle flexibility. And doing so with a lot of weight requires hip strength and a lot of practice to establish the motor pattern. I recommend 50 plus good squats per day. Those can be body weight squats, light overhead squats, light back squats, whatever. As long as they're light enough to do perfectly. Emphasize the wide knees. If you can't keep your knees wide, use your hands to hold them wide. So get those reps in. As you establish that motor pattern and gain the necessary strength and flexibility, you'll be able to maintain this form with more and more weight. If you can get to the point where you can max squat without breaking form, not only will that help you immensely in getting a stronger squat, but it will help you establish good biomechanics in all your athletic movements as well.